Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, except it's absolutely pouring down. Having floods all over Queensland at the moment, which is not fun for lots of people. But we're very lucky. We live on the top of a mountain, so no um, adverse effects to us, thankfully. Okay, I'm going to try something a little different today. I'm using my round spinner, not that I'm going to spin, but I'm using this as my, basically a template for what I'm going to do. What I want to do with this first is cover it in this uh, L foil, um, but I want to scrunch it up so it's got character on it so when I uh, put my paint on it and I dip my canvas it'll come up with a little bit of um, effect like um, textured effect I usually get so I'm going to cover my spinner in this just like that Ooh, sort of sort of kind of just want to add a bit of uh, yeah so it's going to be kind of a textured effect when my paint is on there and and I dip a canvas on it now I've not tried this particular idea that I have so it is <laughs> a first so that's set and ready I don't need to spin it so it doesn't matter if it doesn't spin the second thing, I'm going to use this lovely hexagon canvas, hexagonal, hexagonal, whatever you call them, canvas. It's a lovely gallery wrapped canvas. So on the bottom, I have put masking tape to keep my bottom nice and clean. And I've got the giant push pins, which are found in my Amazon store down below the link below this video. All of my stuff is found there. Um, so that's my canvas is prepped. That is prepped. So what I want to do for the first part of this is actually swap and I'll prep my canvas with the base that I'm going to put on it. So I, I use this to hammer in my push pins and you can actually use the claw to pull them out or just give them a wiggle. I know lots of people say, oh, they can't get the push pins out. We well, have to wiggle them or you use the claw on your hammer. So we were all set up. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to use this black navy as my base coat for the hexagon canvas. What are you chewing, you naughty puppy? No. Oh. My dogs are going absolutely stir crazy because of this rain. So they're wandering in and out, not knowing what to do with themselves. But um, they're the joys of <laughs> crazy weather, I guess. Your dogs still want to get out and enjoy. Ah, okie doke. Rightio. So I'll just put that up there and I will use, I'm going to use a sponge brush because I find when I don't want too much paint on my canvas this is the easiest way to go so I'm kind of gonna leave where my pose is going to go and I can actually finish my sides off this is a black blue really this is um, a black but I added a lot of phalo blue to it to sort of and actually adding phalo blue to back makes it I think it's called the blackest black actually makes it blacker, so I'm told. I don't know. I'm only going on what I'm told, so. <laughs> don't take anything as gospel until you've checked it out, Google it. Everything can be found on Google these days, can't it? So just going around and you can do your nice deep edges. So they're all painted. Give it a twizzle. So I'm hoping because I've got the actual uh, negative space around my posy that it really stands out. But what I do have in mind is when my main composition in the 
centre there dries, then I actually do a vase and I'm going to try and um, do the vase, the vase, the vase in, um, what do you call it, uh, like the gold um, foil stuff. Oh, I can't remember what the name of it is. I'm sure you'll know. I can't think. I'm uh -uh, old timer. Blooming blonkers, anyway. So, got that around there. I'm sure that's going to be. Doesn't matter if I haven't got my perfect circle because I'm absolutely sure I haven't. But it'll um, absolutely do, I believe. So, let's just get rid of a bit of the paint off my sponge brush. Look, this is a plan I've got in my head, but whether it actually works out and I or I have to change it along the way is a whole different story, isn't it? So that's the beauty of abstract acrylic. You can just literally go with the flow. Radio. So there you go. There's my base. For what I have in mind. Now I've got to swap these over without making a mess. So that one comes down here out of the way a little bit and then I get my uh, aluminium foily spinnery thing it's basically as I said acting as my template so um, give me hands a wipe and get a little bit further down radio so I've got these absolutely bright, phenomenally bright, lovely colours that I want to add in here. So I'm going to just do random, I'm going to do the wiggles around the edge in this really bright yellow. So I'm using all global in pasto paints. There's a link underneath this video to the paints I'm using. So I'll put the yellow in there and I'll definitely, definitely squeeze in a bit of white. All of these are my norm, the global paints mixed with my pouring medium and that's all in the description as is videos to the links where I make up these paints. So it's all there for you. So I'm putting in a bit of white. Radio. The thing is, with dips, I found you really need to um, keep your paints quite thick so they don't muddy up. That's what I found works the best. So this is a really nice bright red. And I'm going to do my chevrons, which is V's. I suppose it would be just as easy to, because these are little um, paper cups, so you can make a lip out of them. So these are non-recyclable because they're, well, they are recyclable, aren't they? If they're paper, they're just, Ooh. so yeah, I've definitely found keep your paints thicker on the thicker side for dips. It just definitely works a lot better. Now I'm going to put this lovely, this blue was. I'm not sure if it's cool blue or warm blue. I'll double check. So I'm going to do my V in here. So I really want this to end up on that hexagon canvas as like a posy of flowers in a vase and if I do my vase in the gold or silver foil um, it's like, oh, gold leaf or silver leaf paper. Uh, yeah, I'll show you. So that's the plan. So I will have to wait till this section obviously dries before I can continue on with my vase. So we will see, but this is a lovely canvas. So I'm really hoping it turns out beautiful that it will sell. I know there's lots of people ask me at the moment, are you selling, where's your website? It's currently in production. Somebody's going to take over the part of my 
art business where they do the selling, that you contact them. And because I just can't, uh, well, I don't want to produce my work, do videos, which I love doing and I love creating and do the um, side of it where the business um, selling the paintings, packaging them, sending them. Um, I just have not got the time if I want to have time with my family, which I definitely do. I've got grandchildren and a new granddaughter is due any day. So if I run off now, it'll be because I had a call off the daughter-in-law or the son to say, the baby's on the way, which we're so excited about. So it'll be a, a sister to baby Penny. I love these colours already. I absolutely love my bright colours. I do, I, I, I just really love them. They bring me joy. And that's really, if you're creating, that's what it really should be about, is what brings you joy. Rosie, if you're biting my boxes, my Australian Shepherd has got this thing that she just loves cardboard. So if she finds a box in here, whether it's full of canvases or not, she will eat my box away. Which is not a good thing. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Better edit that bit out. <laughs> I'm just putting a little bit of turquoise around the very edge. Why? Because I want to. <laughs> Rightio. Okay, so I think that's in the perfect position to do Rosie. Don't touch the box. I'm gonna show them you on camera what you're doing. I will show you what this naughty dog is doing. Don't touch the box. Okay, right, T.O. Rosie, do as you told you, naughty girl. Rightio. Gotta concentrate here, Rosie, and you're not. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can sort of, this will probably be I probably should have put markers exactly where I should be going down on my canvas. But, you know, it's abstract. I'm going to go with the flow. And, um, Rosie, I'm going to pull on this with you. You're a very naughty girl. Don't chew the box. I'm going to show everybody what you're doing, Rosie. Right. Okay. So, da, da, da. There's the edge. So I'm just, I wanna keep my hands clean, so I'll keep the back of the canvas clean. I've got all that black over it. Ah. I'll tell you what, I'm taking my gloves off because I don't wanna get all the paint on the back of the canvas. Yes, I do wanna sell this one, it's on such a lovely canvas and they always come out so nice on these hexagon canvases. As you see, I did a lot of chevrons on there, which is the V pattern. They seem to just give this lovely rippled effect, almost like water on a pond in, if you do it in blues, which is super nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm really hoping this works. So if there is bits when you lift up your canvas that your paint's missing, it, it's absolutely no problem whatsoever because you can do balloon kisses in those areas. Right, I'm gonna lift it up this way. Let's see how we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, looky, looky. Wow, I know all that's missing, but that's not any worries whatsoever. That is gorgeous. So my intentions, I'm gonna do some fiddling as you do. Before I go any further, I'll whiz it over with the heat gun. It might be better if I have that, well, I'll fill in that black bit, but no, I'll keep it like that. That's absolutely fine. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to, where's my little fine brush? 
There it is. I'm just gonna use a fine brush for this. You can use a skewer, but I just wanna see if I can do some little, take the paint out. Tendrils to my posy. You can paint, certainly paint these in when this section's dry. I just wanted to see if I could do it with a brush. That's absolutely fine. Now I want my little balloon, just a little balloon, and I can do one of a couple of things. I can either take my black back closer to that, that way. No. I don't have to I'm gonna soften this all up so this is where I'm intending doing my gold leaf in a vase on the bottom you don't have to remember you can take ideas from me and there's parts you might like and parts you might hate but it's this is my art, <laughs> so it's what I'm liking, the same when you're doing your art, it's what you particularly like. So you just take out of it bits you like and bits you don't, you can change if you try it. So here we go with the balloon, creating my flowers, so I'll then use them on the edges like that. Actually, I need to keep wiping the balloon so you don't start to muddy up your paints. So my little posy of flowers in a vase, which will be hopefully. But I just love those colors together. What about those colors? They're just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very, very nice. Love them. When this is fully dry and I have finished it to go over with resin will actually make the whole thing just pop it really will so that's softening my edges plus giving them some character and then the whole thing Definitely gorgeous. I'm loving it. So remember your art, your rules, your way. Don't take criticism from other people if you're doing this for joy, for yourself. Don't let anybody steal your light. Enjoy it. I love that that uh, fluoro pink, I'll tell you the colours, which I would have put a picture of the colours at the start, but there's the fluoro pink and fluoro orange in there. So that's what's really making this orange pop is because it's fluoro, fluoro pink, fluoro orange. And the yellow wasn't fluoro, it was just the yellow that I make up. Well, that is gorgeous. I love it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let that dry. I probably would love maybe some butterflies or something. Maybe you can leave the um, outside. Maybe you can um, use some of your kisses to put in very lightly some little effects like, so you've got a few randoms want to choose the real bright colours. Oh, I love it. I really, really love it. Radio. I'm going to leave that to dry and then we'll be back for the next. That, that actually looks perfect on its own. If you wanted to leave it like that, absolutely. It's just gorgeous. I'll be back. I'll be back when it's dry. Change of plan, I didn't do the um, vase. I added some stencils to the bottom um, and I don't quite think they match what I'd already done. So you tell me what you think. It is quite nice, but um, I'm not sure about it. 
So those are the stencils I added with different colors and I added some butterflies. So yeah, let me know. Bye for now.